I won't want my son or anyone who is related to me, I won't want them to go to Helsingberg. I'd rather kill them than for them to go there. Yo, imagine, just imagine, it's your boy Kunta. So guys, man, imagine you are in Africa and you are still facing racism. Imagine you are in the motherland where everyone is black, man, and you are still facing racism. So guys, today we'll be looking at this video from South Africa where students claim there is a certain top university where they face racism so guys let me stop talking too much and let us get straight into the video if you're new here subscribe like comment share you know you get me i'll be giving my remarks later in the video or during the video enjoy you know the color of my skin in stellenbosch is like a social burden i feel like it's wrong to be black uh sometimes ask myself when I'm alone, why did God make me black? When, the, when a lot can happen in a good way when you are otherwise. And they also ask us at sometimes, what, what are we doing here? Because we are black, so what are we want in an African institution? And we've got nothing, we don't have... If, if, if a guy, like you ch you're chatting with a guy, then comes a group of maybe three guys, just say, okay, a car pounds, then he leaves. It's like he doesn't want to, see, to be seen associating himself with, with us. The guys, when they get there, most of them are welcoming and friendly. But you notice one thing as time goes by, uh, around about in the middle of the year or half quarter of the year, then the guys are starting to change. Starting to change. It's like, the, the way things are done, like they're saying, you are white, you are African speaking, you should be proud of yourself. Don't associate with yourself with the, with the other races, you see. And so I made um, these little stickers that said, racists don't belong here. So I was handing out these stickers and some of the people said to me, um, don't you think people will be offended by this? <laughs> you know, I'm saying racists don't belong here because, you know, everybody should belong here. Well, maybe not. Especially white Afrikaans guys, they can they have the freedom to be drunk on Saturday um, nights and everything, make noise, holler, and do all the stuff. You know, as soon as you just a group, as soon as I as a black person um, become rowdy, um, everyone is there to tell me that no, stop what you're doing, sit down. Basically, it goes as deep as having to die as a black person in order to survive in Stellenbosch. I wouldn't want my son or anyone who is related to me, I wouldn't want them to go to Helsingberg. I'd rather kill them than for them to go there. Um, I went just to have a beer with mates. Um, I'd already ordered my beer. I uh, went upstairs um, to the bathroom. As I was coming downstairs, there was a couple of drunk white students. Um, one of them called me Kaffa. I got into an altercation with him. Um, the bouncers um, obviously pulled me out first because I'm black. And I don't know if that's a rule. So, South Africa has come a long way since the apartheid era. But its universities are still struggling to create truly inclusive environments for black students. The fight against racism is not just about confronting individual acts of discrimination. It's about dismantling the system that allows it to thrive. So, what will I call for action? As more black students continue to speak out about their experiences, it's up to us to listen, amplify their voices, and demand real change. The future of South Africa depends on its youth and they deserve an education system that is as free and equal as the country claims to be. So guys, these remarks emphasize the ongoing struggle, the need for systematic change and the importance 
of solidarity in addressing racism in South African universities. So guys, if you enjoyed this piece of art, please subscribe to Counter Report and let me know in the comment section what you want me to do next which content do you prefer next okay do you prefer seeing my face on camera or do you prefer the voice only so guys that was my take on this topic have a good time